Hello, bookworms! Welcome back to our channel. I'm Icy. And I'm Ivy. And we are Mangos and Books. So today we're doing a newbie book tag. Newbie booktube book tag. Huh? Newbie booktube book tag. Booktube newbie book tag. Hmm? In our pajamas. 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 by anyone but we felt like doing it question number one why did you start this channel we started this channel because we were inspired by the booktubers like Christine from Poland bananas books Cass from little book out and many other more we discovered yes and thought that we might as well share our interest and love for books and since we cannot talk to anyone else about it, <coughs> except ourselves, between us two. Number two, what are some fun and unique things you can bring to book two? I'm not sure. <laughs> I guess that there's two of us. We don't know what we're doing, and it's funny. <laughs> Most of the time. Number three. What are you most excited about for this new channel? Like mentioned earlier, we're excited to share our thoughts about books, share what our favorites are, and people beginning to leave comments on the comment boxes and giving us input and sharing what they think of books and our videos. And just um, be part of the booktube community. And discovering new things, new books, new books, and new booktubers. Number four, why do you love reading? Because when you read, you go on different adventures. It's like a different world. You're a different person. You know? A reader lives a thousand lives. <laughs> And you learn so many things. Like for example, the Percy Jackson series, you learn about Greek gods and goddesses. Greek mythology. And learn about how some people can handle life after end of the world. Life in space gets really creative from there. I have a friend, he was like, how do you even read? And I was like, with your eyes. Number five, what book or series got you into reading? What got me into reading, I guess, in high school, I had the book report thing for English class. I randomly picked up uh, Dan Brown. It was um, Angels and Demons. I liked it. It's more like symbols and saving the world. Mm -hmm. I liked the series and I bought more of the books. But I, I wasn't really a, a bookworm back then. I just knew about Dan Brown and that's all. I think what got me into reading, I remember when I was like in grade school, I would read The Babysitter's Club and Sabrina the Teenage Witch. I don't remember much. And Goosebumps. And Goosebumps. Goosebumps. <laughs> I, I was also reading that but I don't know if I absorbed anything. Yeah. Because we were so little. And I guess what got me really, really into reading was the Sigma 4 series by James Rollins. Because it's, it's kind of like Dan Brown's Robert Langdon series where there's this top secret team who saves the world from ending because of secrets from the past. And after that, I started exploring other genres, like I first got into the Percy Jackson series and then I explored his other books and then books to similar to the Percy Jackson series and the Game Chronicles. And then I got into young adult fantasy. And you just explore all of your options. Mm -hmm. What question would you ask your favorite YouTubers? I don't know, they, they answer all the questions already. I mm. just binge watch their videos. How do you do it? Like, how do you make a living out of it? Number seven. What challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? I think when we run out of booktube tags, we'll run out of content that we can do book 
talks, book tags, and comparisons. Top 5 books, top underrated books. We're still at the beginning of our booktube career, so <laughs> it's still too early to think about that. But I guess another challenge would be finding of creative ways to stand out <laughs> from the crowd. And another challenge will be finding time to shoot. Oh yeah! Eight. Hey, when did you start reading? I started really reading, re hardcore reading, maybe 2009 because I was bored. I just loved going to the bookstores and just looking up books but I don't know what to buy. I just bought Paulo Coelho books, Dan Brown, and then I would ask my friend for recommendations and she gave me some YA. YA is good. And then that got me into reading. After a few years, when I could afford many books, I started buying so many books. <laughs> They're all back home. I miss them. They like my baby. I'm not sure when I first started reading, but I remember, like I said earlier, reading The Babysitter's Club, The Green of the Teenage Witch, even Nancy Drew, I don't even remember what stories. Goosebumps. But I couldn't really follow stuff until I was under her influence and she's like, oh, read this, read that. And she has like a lot of books, so I'm like, yeah, read this, read, this, read that. Read and then we moved to Australia five years ago and then there's so many libraries that have so many books. I would just, I've been going crazy since then. So oh, but a bit very nuts. And we've been borrowing books like crazy. Mm -hmm. Like Black Friday. Crazy. It, going to the library is the best thing ever. Yeah, it's free. better than shopping. But then you can't really read all of them. Good you. Number nine. Where do you read? I read in my bed or somewhere relaxing. I just stay at home. I don't really like reading in public places because yeah, I get distracted. distracted. Sometimes when we go far and we have to commute, we read in the train. Oh yeah. Because it's hard to read at the beach. Yeah. Sometimes I just go to the beach, take a picture of my book, and that's it. Because <laughs> you have to admire the beauty. True. You, you want to go to the water and swim. True. So we just read at home before we go to bed. And when we're driving far, like when we go to Melbourne, it's like a 12-hour drive. We listen to an we audiobook. Listen to audiobooks when there's idle time. When I read in bed, it's mostly before I sleep and I fall asleep. Not that because the book is boring, it's just it's relaxing. It's, it makes me sleepy. Number 10. What kind of books do you like to read? There's so many. I like all genres except romance. <laughs> Erotica. <laughs> There's not much adventure in it. Lately, I've been so obsessed with young adult dystopian and fantasy. Because it's full of adventure. True, I like and excitement. I like young adult. I also like contemporary. I like science fiction, like with James Rollins, how he takes history and then he mixes it with fiction. It's beautiful. And I like crime as well. Crime and murder. James Patterson, Women's Murder Club, and uh, the Alex Cross series. And some of his standalone. And I also r sometimes read graphic novels. The Saga series. Oh my, oh my god. You need to read it. It's good. And what? that's it for the newbie booktube book tag in our pajamas. Who do we tag? We tag all of the new booktubers like us. Please feed it in the comments and we'll check you out. Like and subscribe!